at this time. Now, defects in the existing legislation is what I want to talk about and stop there. Madam Speaker, in July 2005, Uganda transited from the movement political system to a multi-party political system through a national referenda. The adoption of the multi-party system of governance saw the amendment of the constitution of the Republic of Uganda to create the office of the opposition in the parliament. And subsequently, in 2006, the amendment of the Administration of Parliament Act, CAP 272, to provide for the office of the leader of the opposition was enacted. Section 8 of the Administration of Parliament Act, CAP 272, provides for the election of the opposition, the leader of the opposition, by the party in opposition to the government, having the greatest numerical strength in Parliament. The rules also say, Madam Speaker, that other parties should be consulted. Madam Speaker, my party has never been consulted on that. Whenever there is a new or the other leader of opposition. Section 15 of the Administration of Parliament Act, Cap 272, provides for the appointment of the chief whip by the party in opposition to the government, having the greatest numerical strength in the parliament. This is another leader, Madam Speaker, who is very important on the opposition, who also is not elected. My argument and my prayer is that all those must be elected. I don't want to continue. I want to stop there. But I pray thank you. that it is granted. I thank you. Second. That the current legal framework does not permit the participation of members of opposition in parliament in their governance through the election of their leader, the leader of the opposition, or the chief opposition whip. And as a result, it is important for members of the opposition in the parliament to hold the leader of the opposition or the chief whip accountable, cognizant of the need to entrench democratic principles in electing a leader of the opposition in parliament and chief opposition whip as a representative of all members of opposition in parliament. Now, therefore, be it resolved that parliament grants me leave, Madam Speaker, I pray, Madam Speaker, to introduce a private member's bill entitled the Administration of Parliament Amendment Bill, a draft which is attached here to my motion. So I pray. Thank you.